Okay. All right, so local works, August 27th, half of a meeting here. Did you, we do have five members now, or are we at six? I'm just, I'm just trying to five is what we can came up with. Well, if we have five, we've got three people here. Right. Okay. 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 So, uh, anyone would like to adopt the agenda? So moved. A second. Okay. And uh, I think we all saw the minutes from mm -hmm. last time. I think I did a great job. I I'll think I did. To improve. I probably didn't work a good job. I had no comments on them. Okay. Did we need a motion to approve, or you did? I'll second. I did. Oh, I'll yeah. Second. I, don't, I can't. Oh, you can't. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's move on to the. Well, there's no one here for public comments, so let's move on to the uh, work that you've done there on analysis. Okay. Well, what uh, Denise Rose, the chamber assistant, was. Worked out some basic numbers off oh, wow. off the spreadsheet. These are a bit. That's Denise did all this. Yeah, she did. Your chamber dollars have worked. Okay, I love that. Yeah. Perfect. They're all part of the same family. Oh, wow. Thank you. This, your chamber is really. So, but Denise is very good at doing the spreadsheet. Oh. Basically, what you this first this first packet of sheets okay. that I have is some the basic demographics that are able to be taken out of the uh, from the actual responses so if you see you have a, it's all based on a total response of 529 let's just go into respondents and there's your breakdown of the percentages of from east hampton south hampton That's good. west hampton male and female <laughs> and then in the gender once again um there were uh, 367 female, 152 male, transgender was put for by four, there were no answers, but that's what it adds up to 529 respondents. Uh, there's two different um, listings here of uh, the age groups and the breakdown, 16 to 30, et cetera, et cetera. If you read it, if you can see, it's a number, total number of respondents, your first column, then your percentage, and then of that breakdown, your male, female, and other. Okay? Mm -hmm. You picked that up? Yep. And then in, uh, she did it just in a, another a group, basically, as you can see, five groups of five, just a little more breakdown there. Okay. Did she do this by hand somehow, or was she really good with spreadsheets? She she coded everything. To I don't know exactly. No. She wasn't ca counting. Well, she probably coded the, the thing, the questionable ones, in ways that made it. Easy. Yeah, I'm procedure-wise. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm That's not. fine. We'll have to. If we have questions. We'll have to ask the person who did it. Yeah, I'll just you know, jot some down in those emails. Uh, there's your income ranges. As you can see, um, in the total respondents, you, you basically got a, a tie on the income, virtual tie, because we had 70 in the 50 to 60 thousand dollar range, and 67, both equally approximately 13 percent, in the 60 to 85 thousand dollar range. As you see, in a range, it has swung from nine. I mean, from zero up through 250,000 plus. And you see, there was a good percentage, 67 respondents, that did not mm -hmm. specify. Yeah. Why is it that at the top of the mail, its number is five, but the percent is 56? Those numbers, the percents don't make sense to the. Well, out of the total of nine, it would be 56%. Of nine for that line. For that. Oh, okay. 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 So that you're reading across there. Okay, that, that's okay. Yeah. For, so for fifty-six percent of the people who said they make up to ten thousand happen to be male. Correct. 
Okay, so that's okay. okay. That makes sense. Um, people in the household. I'm sorry, some of the percentages here, but you're the basic, but you're your largest percentage of two persons in the household. Yep. Two people. Okay. And they're only, on the 19 years, um, did this by, she by East Hampton, Florence, New Hampton, uh, just a breakdown, but there were 39 respondents that had one person under the age of 19. They took the survey living in his hand. So that's how that works. Mm -hmm. that? Yeah. Uh, two under 19 would be 23 of those respondents. Or three in Southampton and uh, three under 19. There were five respondents. Once again, this is just what's the word I want. That's just the number of. People under 19, quantity one, then two under 19, then three under 19. Right. Okay. Right. What's interesting is that there's. What? That's just fascinating to see some of this demographic. Yeah. Um, we can start to compare some of this too to just see what the. You know, should, it should not have to, like census data. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, if it and if it does, then we have a fairly accurate survey, mm -hmm. right. or at least a fairly accurate cross section of the. So. That's great. Okay, your next sheet. Um, how long have you lived in East Hampton? And she broke it down to the the, the largest amounts. Yeah. As you see here. Uh -huh. and, uh, then you then a little further out. Your second column is uh, the longer years. So I kind of kind of of the respondents. It's interesting. Once again, it's a total response is a four sixty nine seven, not the five twenty nine that answered the question. But what is that? Uh, one eighty one. It's what forty percent. I'm just doing a quick out out of all the respondents that have been mm -hmm. in East Hampton under you know, nine years or less. Is that correct? A lot of new people. Yeah, yeah, three, yeah 540 would be 30 percent. We only have 490, 467 respondents. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's also fascinating that there's another. Were, or another third were people that have all been here for 30 plus years. The 130, yeah, of those respondents, yeah, because about 130, mm -hmm. that'll be 390, a little less than a third, right? 25%. Mm -hmm. uh, next sheet, or do you want to go on to that? Or do you and just see, these just, she just wrote down once again uh, the community. So of course, you've got more answers because people would. Some people skip the question. No, no, multiple you've got routes. Multiple routes. Because oh, right, right. you had everything from, mm -hmm. you know, the rail trail. So some of the people could have, could take the rail trail, but some people we didn't give them. Mm -hmm. There wasn't a preference, I believe, in that question, as I recall. I just no. said, let me see here. Yeah. Do you it's a, please check all that all that apply. So yeah. it could have been you know, of course we divide that up. I mean, you know, it's more by fifty percent is more than one route. Interesting, I uh, the route ten Main Street makes a is um is a good amount. Yeah. I think the public transit is a very Telling? Telling, yeah. Uh, does that mean lack of roots? Does that mean lack of availability? You know? Mm -hmm. It's hard for us to tell. But also, you know, the, the rail trail was quite popular as well. Right. Um, you have almost 20% of people take Cottage Street. Or 
Well, no, that's no, that's twenty percent of the people. Was it? That's a twenty percent of the, the total the roof. response. Yeah, to the roof. Right. Right. Okay. No. The other part on that that page you'll see is um, the question of do you work in East Hampton? That was broken down. Um, from what the resident city was, whether or not, and they work in East Hampton, just mm -hmm. that. So, once again, 529 responses. That, that question that virtually no one asked that. So of the 529 responses, about so 133 work in East Hampton. Mm -hmm. But of the 133 that live in East Hampton, that work in East Hampton, 16 commute into East Hampton. 117 live and work in East Hampton. Correct, yeah. Just take a yes. Correct. So that'd be 16 is your other one's cost. That's some good work. Yes, I easy to understand. <laughs> This is what we do with it afterwards, correct? <laughs> yeah. And next, well, this is just a little more of a breakdown. Um, you know, once we get a total response, residents say work in East Hampton. And it just, it, it doesn't have to work. If you just took the East Hampton ones on that, For the commuting distance? Yeah. Okay. I think that's good. Can't do everything. And then of course it breaks down. Well, you know, there was one of these that uh, resident cities, East Hampton, that they said they work in East Hampton. You see, they we're going down because you have to break down the next sheet. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of interesting that greater than 10 miles someone that lives in East Hampton. Hmm. Catch my drift, send out my right. set of figures. Is the city 10 miles wide at any one point? Or? It's not even five miles wide at any one point. I think, I, but aren't we the smallest, as far as land area, the smallest? Oh, I see, I see how this works. So, Maybe that's so there are people that there's six people that commute 50 to 150 miles in East Hampton? No. That do not work in East Hampton. Are you like you're on the bottom side? Oh, oh, do not work in East Hampton. These are do not okay. work. Okay, I see, I see. Yeah, that's interesting. Of course, it doesn't. Yeah, how are they getting? Well, I guess they could be dropping kids off at school or something. And uh, they don't, we don't, town. They don't have kids in school. Well, the the, the, ten, the people are driving more than ten miles. Oh yeah, working in. That's true. They could way. they could have a child in a charter school in Northampton, let's say, or something. Yeah, they could be Make going back and forth. All right. That call right. that could mean so. Yeah, I mean, it's five miles from the center of East Hampton to the center of Northampton. Maybe right. six miles at most. Right. So. But I live on about the furthest. I live, my house is the last. <laughs> my house is on the East Hampton, South Hampton town line at Cook Road. So I'm. Are you yeah. looking up how big the city is? No. I'm just curious. It's just a. Mm -hmm. like 15 miles. So I, I live right here. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it's I only lived here. My my son made it for for the school bus to Whitebrook for a mile. Yeah. And to the door at Whitebrook. But you know, look at this scale. What's that? Six inches. Yeah, the city. 
it's about 400 miles tall, five miles. Four hundred. Yeah, all yeah. 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 so This is possible that we're doing a round trip. Hi. How are you? It could it could very well be. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe it's a mistake. Yeah, that could be too. For two respondents out of 500. It would be, it's, it's hard to exactly say. So that's, that's giving an idea on the, the demographic sheets. That's just good. And presumably this is in a spreadsheet now, so maybe if we're doing our report, some of this could be put into chart form or, or used in the... Yeah, yeah. If you want to send it to the committee, you know, see who wants to take it. Yeah. Oh, there's still more that we've done. There's just some. Yes. I'm trying to think of where's the best way to... Um, this is an analysis of why they shop out of town. It was just so funny. I don't know how to say that. Thank you. Thank you. Going across the top, there's your count. Um, 69% female, 29% male. I don't know if these people work in these camps. In. And if you go across, these are the questions. That's okay. I'm going to grab He's going to join us as well. If you're shop, you have better atmosphere, lower prices, better quality, we'll be right et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Others, please specify. And as you see here, the last, would you purchase locally out of town if items are not were available in East Hampton? Citra said no, but the vast majority said yes. No response. Now this breakdown is on the sheet. It, it, it's bringing it down a little more, but basically it was in there to get the uh, other police specified items in. Mm -hmm. But you'll see if you read across, let's say this person, for example, the first person uh, lived in East Hampton for 44 years, at the age of 66, was a male, 85 to $100,000 income range. Uh, two people in the house were well, did not work in East Hampton. Super. And then you see your exes, so you're working down these columns, okay? Mm -hmm. That you're sitting up on top here. <laughs> but I think, you know, perhaps some of the most important thing is... So, um, after income? Sorry, after income, there's two? Oh, um, that's the number... People, number of people... Total people in household. Oh, oh, oh okay. Just okay. reading down that column. Okay. And it's kind of hard because it's, it's more related. So, we, James, you said you had to stop seeing it. Um, this is great. I can't believe how advanced this is. Yeah, thank you, our. Oh, um, for thank Denise. Well, thank you, Denise. She has a very master's very degree in like, analysis. Mm -hmm. There are <laughs> even more. Yeah, right. We try to figure out a good way. I know you have to go, Jane. Huh? Yeah, a good way to. So let me just get these up. We try to figure out a way to get that comment section in. Mm -hmm. You know, it was at the very end. Mm -hmm. And so once again, it was we did it. Kind of in the same way, by the city, length, age, gender, income range, and some of the basic items. And then, then so you got your additional kind of one, two, three. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> we did it, but that's... No, 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 I didn't bring glasses. And just to let you know, there are three more sheets similar to this that we didn't bother, I didn't make copies of, that she did on the food and bre beverage analysis question, the online services question, and uh, 
the arts and entertainment, sports and leisure businesses. Awesome. So with those we did not make copies of because we don't first want to know if that's what we want. Yeah. Good. So what I can do is I can forward all of these spreadsheets mm -hmm. to the group. That'd be great. I know yeah. Um yes. right. ECA would like the the arts questions. Is that okay for us to use that information? Take it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Yes, arts and leisure. It was arts and entertainment, sports and leisure, right? Right. Well, I'll give you a whole thing. You can distribute. But I meant before we actually thank you. Announced I'm thank you. Oh, I wish it was soft. Oh, yeah. I think we decided that before, didn't we? Okay. Can we decide that earlier in the meeting? Before we do the final analysis, you mean? We should have Denise give the presentation. She obviously knows this stuff. I mean, this is unbelievable. Well, this is what uh, we have. So could there, or okay. And so she's done analysis on this is a goodly amount, but once she's got highlighted on the question she's done. Some of these obviously are very tough the way the survey was right. designated, listed, whatever. I'm not sure if we did it again after seeing all those shortcomings, we'd have a better survey to begin with. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you're going to send the spreadsheets to the group? Yeah, you can. Okay. And this is what we have so far. Would you say that she's 50% through? 75% through? Yeah, but now she's going to be at a point right now where she's had the time to do it. It's probably going to be a week off and going to some vision on vacation. Mm -hmm. So you get you that far. She's done. Let's see, the groups and uh, she's done sports and leisure, shop outside of East Hampton. She's got four copies of the right? Uh, why do you shop online, buy online? Outside of East Hampton. And what I'm looking for is the national brand. It's just a good 70% food. Yeah, yeah. Now, see, she, haven't, she hasn't gotten to the culture. Okay. You've read them all. You've got the sports, you got the sports and leisure. Right. Okay. So, yeah. Sure. I gave you the kind of one, so that's incorrect. Individual responses. Then. Is that right? What, um, for the the for the the These are the folks that actually did a comment. You know, the very last right. question that actually commented. It shows exactly with all their. Some yeah. Of their, Do they provide any additional comments here? And then just some of their key demographics. Yes. The, the income range. Where, where was available? Mm -hmm. Also, whether they work or not. Some of these you have to, because of the way they did the responses, you have to um, reference to the actual printed. Because they say for, for question number 32, the answer is maybe. For example, one of these. Um, so does that mean that, that the answer to the question number 32 168 out of 529 actually spent the time to have additional comments? I think that was it. Yes. That's great. Yes. And she, once again, she did those because of some of the other ones in the, in the alphabetical order by the town when they respond to town the same way. So it goes to Amherst if you go to the last page and it's worse. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Person once saw a tomato for five dollars. That was a huge turnoff. 
Posting, but it was it almost like it was inside of a whole other list. Was that? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Huge. And that's to support the ECA and, and Burns' right. position and everything. Yeah. And our programming. And how did that that's great. go? I'm trying to remember how, how did that amount jive with the amount you asked for in the grant, or was it basically? That's a good question. I don't remember exactly. But we got 30000 for fiscal year 14 and 28. Four fifteen. It's not too far off from what we asked for. I don't remember. Right. And uh, well, I was at the ECA chat yesterday, mm -hmm. and uh, Burns was saying the city. We want the city, or the ECA wants the city to take over, or to kind of make that a permanent position as part of the city budget, not just some special grant budget. Right. Well, that right. sounds right. like a good idea. Right now we do get city funds. Yeah, there is some. But it's not a permanent. But it's not. It's a year-to-year -year thing that they decide. And we'd but it is. Okay. But it, it was in the city budget. Line, so just, yes. Year-to-year -year it is, but it's not. She's like not a, a paid permanent position. She's not part of city payroll. Okay. Gotcha. And we want that position to be part of city payroll. Oh, okay. We right. want that commitment to be that, you know, she does it. Ideally, and we will go for this, we want it full, fully paid by the city. Mm -hmm. um, and then those grants could be used for other things, like the art for everything else. Yeah. Everything else. Mm -hmm. So we wouldn't be asking them yeah, for anything else. We would just be, um, you know, so we'll look out for grants. Do you remember how much it was that, what the percentage is one way on uh, Burns? Is she works 35 hours. She makes. Um, no, that's okay. Not just a ball. I'm not, 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 not
thirty-five hours, so it's uh, with. They should be done. Um, thirty-five, thirty-six hours. With benefits, it's right around four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Many local works can, uh, you know, say that we would support that too, if that makes any difference. That would be awesome. Um, I'm already writing a letter um, personally for myself. This goes before City Council on the 4th, which is next Tuesday. Um, I don't know if either of you could be there to actually, um, from yourself as a business owner and seeing the difference that just the arts yeah. make in the city and that, you know, her position is very important and, um, right. you know, we do want that commitment from the city. I mean, they're very supportive. Right. We just wanted to go the next step and make right. it part of the government. Um, I'm going to write a letter because I won't be in town, mm. but if um, if either of you could do that or be there or write a letter. Uh, it's an evening or when is it? It's city council meeting at 6 or 6.30? Yeah, it's 6. Right in this building. Right. Yeah. Upstairs. And her position is the arts coordinator? Yeah. That's a type of position. Yeah. Okay. It's under the planning department. Okay, that's right. Yeah, that's You just send an email to Barbara, and she would read it at the meeting before you read oh, yeah. the letter to the, so, to the council. Yeah. So you're in? Yeah, I know. That would have to go through our board, and we don't need to do it. Mm -hmm. I can't really. I hate to say it. That is the chamber. Yeah. 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 But anyway, we got the um, funding, so the pop up stores is something that we're going to be going forward with. Mm -hmm. Um, I know I'm jumping. Yeah, that's okay. We'll, um, I don't know if local works could help facilitate finding, you know, like through the chamber and through EDIC, finding landlords that have space that would be open to a pop up shop for, like, maybe an art walk for a week, for a month. Right. You know, and then ECA could work on finding the the artists that fill it. Mm -hmm. Now, once again, on the pop-up, you're strictly going to be part your later, is what you're asking for. Because I know... On the broader... Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So someone not necessarily doing some left-handed widgets. Left-handed widget sounds creative to me. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so it's a broad definition. Okay. Good. Okay. With a pop up, that that in itself is kind of creative. It could be, who you knows? It could be anything. Yeah. But um, one of the areas that we thought was would benefit greatly from it is Main Street itself, because there seems to be a lot of empty spots there right mm -hmm. now. So for an art walk, and even on Union, on art walk. Is that where the Gazette used to be? Is that open? Is anything in there yet? Or? I don't think so. Not there. I know uh, that, that, okay. Janelle George is still open. There was an old uh, home at Dental Lab building. Oh, yeah. Next to Chuck. That's where the web tactics were. Yeah. Well, yeah. But the, maybe who, who owned that Gazette building? Is that Jack Moriarty or somebody else? Yeah. And maybe at the top of Chuck. I think that I'm happy to check it He's a pretty nice guy. Maybe he's the The memorial guy? This way. Moriarty and Moriarty? Yeah. Yeah, they used to be. Yeah, he's been open to different things mm -hmm. yeah. throughout the years. Yeah, even his old office. You never know. The place is totally vacant. It's just where he used to have his. Uh, John Union? Or right around the corner, the big E's between Casey's new place and the big E's. Right in the corner there. I remember when I was a kid, I was dating myself that way, way back when. I think it was a gas, maybe a gas station. Oh, you mean you know here's Anderson? Anderson Fuel, maybe, but there was talk of something like a friendly is going in there. This was, I don't say, more than 30 years ago. Hmm. At that, but that apparently was squashed or never came to fruition anyway. But it's interesting. How about where that restaurant was across from CBS? Just that, um, 
all graded? Yeah, for any golems that probably, I don't know what seat, I think it's kind of just sitting there. Just moving dirt? Yeah, I'm not too sure, yeah. <laughs> that's, his. that's what you know, the Tasty Talk about? Well, it's after the Tasty Talk. After McDonald's. After McDonald's and before those be Papa there. George Pizza. It was torn down a while ago. No, in a house type setting. Mm. Right. Ken, I said that I would get in touch with um, her name is Steve Singer right now, but the Nash Pond League with Provo, and I didn't do that, so I will do that for the next meeting. I have to find out when the meeting is about the pond. And when is the next local works today? It's the second Tuesday. Determine that. Yeah. Uh, the thing you on the Facebook page? I'm not sure. I'm not on the Facebook. I mean, I, I, I haven't been. Somebody, I think Josh does the Facebook. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I can. Um, we wanted to thank. We, we, we need to thank people for taking the survey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we should have done that a while ago. But better, better late than never. I'm almost, is on the website trying to picture it? Uh, I think on the website it says thank you and the results will be coming soon. Correct. Okay. On the web page, but I'm not sure about it. Mm -hmm. I mean, at this point, maybe you should just update people by Facebook. Hey, we haven't forgot about sharing the results. We, you know, we're doing some work. Well, that was the idea. Paul thought it was a good idea to post a thank you on Facebook as well as the website and to reach out to those who took the survey. Additional discussion about posting teaser comments and info related to the survey results. We'll decide the next meeting. Right. I think these comments would be great to use for teaser stuff. There's, there's, there's some really good comments. But then I here. So the next meeting is on September 10th. Looks like. Yes. Hopefully we can get full turnout. We talked about having an event where we show these results, right? Mm -hmm. the public thing. Mm -hmm. Most of the good report done here. Yeah. This is a lot of work. I, I wonder if Denise would be interested in kind of helping present that. Uh, she's not comfortable on that. I mean, she seems to really know. She well, obviously she knows what's going on with this. Sir, I bet she could talk about it. Just well, I don't know about that. I know she's, I, I, I'm not going to, I can't commit her to it. Yeah, that's okay. No, but not you can but maybe we could ask. Give the audience and just suppose yeah. we're reading it wrong, she could say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just see. Jamie seems comfortable in that yeah. position. Maybe you do. Well, maybe we should uh, adjourn. The next meeting will be the 10th. Right. Say. Three. Well, please thank you. This is awesome. Oh, yeah, awesome. Sure. I was wondering if that was ever going to get done. <laughs> well, 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 she's been busy. I didn't even know she was doing it. Well, we decided we talked about. She said, to "Take a take a stab at it mm -hmm. and do that." As I say, she's a lot more experienced than some of the other Well, I was generous of the chamber's time too. Mm -hmm. well, thank you. And we're partners. That's great. We need to official roll. I move to adjourn. <laughs> Second. Sure. Okay.